now we are moving ahead with the architecture of ansible okay so this diagram itself is a big diagram so one second guys this is agent 1 agent 2 production server okay guys so now i'll explain one by one just try to understand very carefully okay so here in ansible if you talk about the architecture of ansible is how it will be okay so once you install ansible in your particular instance okay whether it's a centos or whether it's a okay uh, your ubuntu server okay three things are very much important when you are uh, implementing ansible in your instance or when you are configuring uh, ansible to your instance first thing is your inventory okay second thing is your playbook third thing is your module okay so i'll explain one by one what do you mean by this inventory so this inventory is nothing but this inventory is going to contain all the ips of your database server of your web server or of your production server the reason is because only these servers you are going to communicate with so before communicating to this server through this ansible server you have their ip in the inventory okay so if you want to communicate to the database server or if you want to install some packages into database server so before going to do that one in the ansible server itself you have to configure the ip of that database guys are you able to understand me so only database or web server for application server also everything that's what i told that's okay. the example i am telling whether it could be any if suppose if thousand okay, okay. if yeah so if thousand uh, agents you are going to communicate with so thousand agents is what these are the group of suppose if some 100 database will be there some uh, 100 web server will be there some uh, uh, 100 production server will be there 100 staging server will be there okay so all this ip should be in your inventory of this controller guys are you able to understand me yeah uh samba yes sir okay pavan yes sir i am able to okay so guys there is some where is this file is exactly so i'll give you the path anyways while implementing ansible to your instance i'll explain you the path so this particular file or this inventory is nothing but this is slash etc ansible slash host file will be there so this host file is nothing but that is your inventory of this particular ansible server okay so this is all about the inventory what do you mean by inventory guys it is clear for you now so before it's contain going... all ip addresses right exactly of controllers okay exactly so and at the same time you should be tag also because suppose if i'll give you a example okay pavan so you have apple banana mango whatever the fruits are there right so what is the class of this fruit if i'll talk about so the class of this fruit is your guys tell me hmm. so there is a tag called fruit apple yes. banana mango is what the class is fruit only right these all are fruits so you need to give yeah. a tag means if this ip 192.168.2.1 okay this ip belongs to what this ip belongs to your database server 192.168.2.2 yeah. this ip belongs to your web server 192.168.2.3. something this ip belongs to your production server guys are you able to understand me yes so while giving the ips at the same time you need to mention a tag also you need to specify for what purpose this ips are there okay 
so you cannot put each and every time the ip and you can uh, uh, install a package right so suppose 100 uh, database server is there right so if i have to install into all those database server if i have to start some services into those database service or if i have to start or stop that database so i cannot mention one single single ip right i have to give a tag name database that's it so under that database there are some 100 database ips will be there some 100 agents will be there right that's what it is here guys so these agents are nothing but these agents are your database servers correct yes. agent 1 agent 2 agent 3 up to agent n means 100 database server is there so i am going to communicate how i am going to communicate first thing is in the ansible the master server or in your controller in the inventory you have their ip and their tag name then only we can communicate with this particular agent guys are you able to understand me pavan clear yeah i got yes, you yes subject is okay now the second thing what do you mean by this playbook then so this playbook is nothing but this is just a yml script it is called a yaml script so as i said clearly whether if you want to store data or to this is related to your configuration right that's what if you want to store or transmit data you required a yaml script correct so suppose i cannot execute single single command at all the time right if i have to scale up some 100 database server i cannot do a single single execution i need some script right to do that one in a single yes. shot yes. right so there this playbook is going to help you out okay so playbook is nothing but it's a yaml script guys clear yes okay so here i will mention that inventory you guys understand ip address Now, this module is very much important okay guys whenever see i was just talking about in a top level till now but when you need to install something when you need to uh, uh, uninstall something when you need to start something when you need to stop something correct so there should be some command there should be something right if you want to start something in linux there is a command called service that is that service name and start right yeah if you want to know the status of that service you can do the same thing correct guys samba yes 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 sir so there is some command right yeah. so same way in ansible we have something called your module so modules are nothing but these are the actions means what you want to push what you want to push to these agents means these are your action so this could be your anything this could be your service okay this could be your uh, service name like service name if i talk about service name is sttpd guys you know sttpd why we use right sttpd yeah. if you want to start and stop sttpd right so if you want to copy something if you want to move something to all these servers if you want to ping this something so these are your actions correct so there are some 400 uh, i'm missing that around some 432 or something modules are there in ansible by use of these modules only you can may you can uh, configure or you can manage all these agents okay you need those modules before going to do something in this agent guys are you able to understand me yes so module is yes. nothing but these are your actions okay this is your actions clear guys so mm. now you are clear it that inventory playbook and module right so these are the very three important things when we are going to create a ansible server and when we are going to configure a ansible server so all these things should be controlled by your controller 
so in ansible server so we name the ansible as a controller the main the main body will be your controller under this controller only inventory will be there playbooks will be there and modules will be there understanding now guys coming to this part when this controller has to interact with these agents so how this e controller has to suppose if obviously if i have to deploy something if i have to install something in this particular database server or if i have to start some services in this database service i need a communication method right then only i can do that one i cannot do it straight away without knowing this agent right so first thing is you need to create the inventory under this controller and second thing is you need to create a ssh between this controller and this agent so guys ssh is very much it's very uh, simple thing in linux okay when ssh is what secure shell if you want to communicate from one server to other server you need a secure shell and it talks and it it's communicate on port 22 right yeah so for a password less or something like that what you need to do is you need to create a public and private key so the private key will be keep it with the controller and the public key has to be deployed to all these agents guys it's clear like when you do a ssh keygen right so it will generate a public key and a private key right linux guys you know that's what my understanding is correct yes yes yes, yes, yes. okay so there it will generate some public and private key so that public key has to deploy to under authorized key in all these agents that i'll show you guys while deployment okay so this is how it's this controller has to communicate to all these agents through this ssh uh, sorry ssh only okay so once the communication is established so if you want to start a service in this agent 1 so you need to use the module so whether if you want to go ahead with a ad hoc command if you simply execute a single line command you can do it for this single server but if you are required some more than 500 server then that time you need a playbook so playbook is nothing but you can also say it's a combination of multiple ad hoc commands correct guys yes so you are putting yes, those ad hoc commands in a single shot and you are executing for all these servers right uh, that's what we do yeah okay yeah. so guys now you yeah. ask me your questions related to this architecture of your ansible do you have any doubt in this ansible i'll show you one thing oh, okay before going to this one guys let me take uh... guys ask if you have any doubt because so, in coming session i'll be deploying this ansible so in next two session ansible will be finished with your some playbooks will write it down i'll explain you ad hoc commands okay the installation part that's so so you just need to understand if you okay. understand this architecture that's that more than enough okay uh, actually i want to know uh, again uh, inventory part can you repeat uh, like what okay. is the role here okay sure so inventory is nothing but inventory is going to contain your ip as well as the tag of that particular agent or you can say of that particular group or your database or whether it could be a pro web server or production server okay just understand so when you deploy this controller to your instance okay so there is a uh, file okay that file name is called slash etc 
ansible host file will be there host host means what means suppose if you want to uh, communicate between this agent 1 agent 2 agent 3 and agent 4 multiple agents will be there okay from this controller how you are going to do that one correct so to do that one one thing is that fine completely that ssh is there right but if you talk about that if i have to in, uh, install something or uninstall something so before going to do that you should have that information inside you right mm -hmm. if 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 i am yes. going to talk to someone for example pavan it's a layman language okay if i am going to mm -hmm. talk mm -hmm. to someone i should have the information of that guy with me right before yes yes that is what your inventory if you are inventory is what means if you are going to sell something to someone so you should have that stock or inventory with you right so if somebody is ordering okay. something from xyz site okay so if that guy is ordering some clothes or whatever it is okay so there is a inventory with you already okay i have this size of cloth i have this size of cloth so you will be easily sending those uh, things to your uh, that your customer right same way here also yeah. if if you are going to communicate with this agent okay if you have to uh, install something if this agent is required to scale up or scale down or to install some packages or he, he, it it has to be your data server the database server has to start or stop so before so doing that the, yeah what is the role of controller here when see is a controller is a ansible server or something else yeah controller is the ansible so inside this controller only this inventory playbook modules will be there controller yeah, is I the understand. like yeah just i just understand that controller is nothing but it's a ansible server right yes exactly it's a master yeah. server okay and these guys will be if you understand otherwise these are going to play as a slaves this is a master and slave configuration kind of okay but only thing is configuration how we are going to do is it's very much clear we should have the detail or inventory of these agents already inside this controller correct yeah so yeah. guys uh, any doubt samba and one more thing then how this controller and these agents are communicating through only ssh right yes so first thing is okay. if you want to install something so under host file we should have their ips okay detail and other thing is only communicating there is no uh, explicit port we have mentioned here right like how we do in some other tools right yeah hpsa or something if you guys have gone through some tools okay so here only ssh is there this is normal ssh secure shell right okay hi okay, guys so yeah. guys any doubt yeah uh, no we are good yeah okay so thank you guys i am yes. ending up the session here only okay and